call out to him because uh, <laughs> he's that busy. But no, it's really cool to see that kind of stuff. Uh, some companies that stuck out today. Uh, first of all, first of all, uh, we talked to I forget what the company was called when we had them on the show. Um, but uh, their 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 app now is they they've can't they've kind of pivoted a little bit, and their app is now uh, Stream Me. If this will work, Chilla, this thing is not working. This thing just went weird. No. Uh oh, uh oh. We're using a new thing to show off apps on here that uh, Chilla has taught me. And I, uh, use, I use it all the time. Try. I think I needed a refresh or something. Yeah, if your if your Maybe. device goes to sleep, you need to wake it up and give it a second. I think I need to. I think I need to trust my computer again. So, or oh, uh, but they yeah, added no. so it's called Streamy. You can find it in the App Store and. Uh, and, and as soon as I can show you guys here, uh, there we go. There we go. Um, so you can find it in the app store. And, and, and remember, we were talking to them about they were doing like they're trying to use Bluetooth that you could go into a networking event and uh, really kind of like connect with people. They're actually using uh, not location based, more context and location based. And they're going in like I just started an event here for Podcast Day. So this is like if their example was if two concerts are having across the street, happening across the street, like Lady Gaga and like a classical thing. Those if you use location based, all those pictures would just kind of jumble together, right? But mm-hmm. here, like you know, I started my little event, and you can pop in and drop your images on here. And it's kind of a Snapchatty kind of thing. I think it does. I don't think my other picture went. Um, here we got one from the Streamy team, and and again, you just kind of slide through there, and there's everything from. Uh, their event. There was a big one for Alpha Lab today, for instance. And, and again, it's very Snapchatish. You take a picture by tapping. You put some text in there. You can you you can uh, uh, give it how many how many seconds that it's going to show up on screen. Um, and uh, it, it's it's an interesting pivot. I I think this is something uh, definitely for concerts. I think it makes a lot of sense for events. If uh, this is still still going around PodCamp, I'd love to use it for PodCamp and see kind of if it catches on. Um, but you know, I'm kind of back and forth with it a little bit, but yeah, there they are there. There's the guys we had on the, on the show here a bit ago. Um, but, uh, but really interesting to see how that's kind of changed over that cycle over just like, what was it? Three months ago we had them on, right? Mm-hmm. So, so that's streamy. You can check that out in the app store. Uh, another one I talked about before Sikahu. Um, this was the one that's kind of lets uh, contractors themselves. I, I'm actually in the market for a plumber, perhaps here, and you actually go in and, and the they can. It actually looks like Instagram for the most part. But the cool thing is, um, they have before and after pictures of their work as contractors that just slides back and forth, and that's a really cool kind of interface. And it's not as costly to the contractors themselves. And I, I'm definitely more you know likely to use something like this uh, rather than. You know, Angie, Angie, Angie's list or something. I always felt like that was a ripoff, and it's, it looks, it sounds like it's a ripoff for both sides of things. So, uh, so updating that travel wits we talked about the one that uh, the idea was they want you to be able to uh, you have a budget and they'll find you the combination of plane, car rental, everything that you would want. They've actually updated that and opened a new beta for it uh, because before it just found you the best flight, and now it's actually kind of putting more of those things together. Um, with their algorithm. So uh, travelwits.com if you want to check that out. Um, also, uh, robots. There was actually a company um, called... I'll get the company in a moment. But uh, they they were writing software basically for 3D cameras. And they say, well, 3D cameras are here. Like, and they pulled up the Connect has it. It's showing up on, on uh, uh, phone cameras. And, and they're trying to... Uh, create software so robots can identify objects. One of the examples they gave were was uh, working with Amazon because right now, and this is really cool. I didn't, I've never seen this part before. Apparently, the shelves actually come to the people to take the things off the shelves to the boxes because I think they used to have to go up and down like the, the aisles or something, right? So uh, it comes to them, but it's only the person to identify the object on the shelf and put it in a box. So now they're trying to eliminate that person that's left over. Um, with the robot that will actually identify, and they won some prizes for for that, and that was pretty interesting. Uh, Capson Robotics was was the, was the company there, and they actually had like a robot arm playing playing uh, pool. Um, Chilla, I think you'd be interested in this. Uh, how about Internet of Toys? Internet of Toys. Internet of Toys. 
this caught my I, I was really worried when they started explaining this that this is going to be the uh, the talking Barbie that connected to the internet. That's, but, and that's exactly what I thought about. But it actually um, it actually is 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 a little more low key than I expected. Uh, oh geez, I, uh, AE Dreams I think is the company, but they have they have this uh, a thing called Turtle Mail, and Turtle Mail is this little mailbox, and I, I guess it connects probably Bluetooth to your computer or something. And you see the kids playing with it there. And so what you do is you can take a toy, like like a, a stuffed dog, they give an example. It's not even a, a, a dog, I think, in particular, but you register the toy. Let's say like DC can do this or other other brands. So, so you, 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 you register your Batman figure per se. And then you get messages from the little stuffed dog in the form of little bits and activities on papers that come from this mailbox. So it spits out like ticker tape. Yeah, like ticker tape. And then it's, you know, something that, you know, the company can have some kind of message, uh, you know, that, that goes along with Superman or whatever the, the thing is, or Barbie or whatever it is. I, DC is the only one I, I remember seeing on, on the screen. Uh, but they had, they had a good, like, six or eight companies already uh, interested and involved in this thing. And uh, it, it, it's, 